There is a pattern as it relates to comorbidities and COVID-19 deaths. So says Technical Advisor of Hospital Services in the Office of the Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Anthony Parkinson. Dr. Parkinson updated on this country's COVID-19 ICU management during Saturday's Ministry of Health COVID-19 press briefing. According to Dr. Parkinson, hypertension and diabetes appears to be the most common among the underlying illnesses which affect COVID-19 patients who succumb to the virus. He said following those two are chronic diseases. Followed closely by chronic kidney disease. People who have um, kidney disease, some, some are on dialysis, some just have um, bad kidneys that are borderline, they can live with it. But when you get the disease, when you get the COVID virus, you, as it were, been pushed over the edge. Dr. Parkinson added that persons who are obese, who have a high history of cancer and cardiac issues, are also at higher risk if infected with COVID-19. He said, however, those most likely to succumb to the virus are the elderly. We have, from 65 and over, seems to be the increase in the number of, um, what, or shall I say, the chance of um, succumbing to COVID. The average age of, um, of males and females who succumb to COVID in the ICU is about 60, 65, 65% actually. The technical advisor of hospital services also reminded that young people are still at risk of contracting the virus. Young people, you are not immune to this disease. I know it's a, it's a small chance that you could die from it, but you are not immune. Do not play Russian roulette with this disease. We understand it's, not, it's, in, it's inconvenient, but please, wear your mask when you're in the presence of others. Cut down the congregation of people together. Let's reduce the chance of you getting this disease. Crystal Wilson, TTT News.